big man ting smash a like button and subscribe so your boy Shiante Beyonce Wilder has finally has magically called out Dillian Nate Robinson White now this for me is truly poetic you, isn't it mad how the world works? Imagine, yeah, a year ago, if I told you that Shiante Wilder was going to call Dillian White out, you'd have looked at me, gone out and said, Why be? What have you been smoking? It, the, the universe has gone mad, isn't it? In this boxing game. It's like, 2 twos Wilder comes out, ever since Fury pushed his wig back, <laughs> it seems like it's unlocked a bit of logic in his brain. It seems like Fury maybe pushed a bit of IQ into his head. Because then, man, and I've noticed as well, the LDBC and all of Wilder's fangirls, they've also got a little bit more logic now as well. It's really weird. Like, I was listening to the one of their reactions to Canelo versus Smith, and they were saying, oh, I'm not sure if Charlo can beat, I'm not sure if Charlo and some of these dudes, can, I'm not sure if Errol Spence can beat Canelo. I was thought, what? These men were gassed before they would never say that. Now it seems like they've been truly humbled. I don't know whether it's whether, I don't know whether it's whether they've been humbled or whether they've got, all had IQ pushed into their clout. Whatever it is, they've fixed up. But anyway, as I was about to say, if I told you last year that Wilder and all of his men would come out and admit to AJ, sent him an offer. Oh, I turned down Anthony Joshua. If I'd have told you that, you'd have laughed. And it was so frustrating at the time. I remember banging my head on the wall. Just not getting it. It was clear AJ's team were the one sending the contracts. And that's just to be fair, just quickly on another note. This is something that you, man, you Fury fans also need to bear in mind. Let's not get it twisted here. Because a lot of the Fury fans, yeah, we, or you and whoever else was all over Fu Wilder. On the same logic that the YB was given out. I.e. who's sending contracts. Who's trying to get it in. But you need to bear in mind. It's the same principle now with your boy Fury. I've never seen fish eyes. Coming around the place trying to get stuff done. It's always. It's always AJ and team AJ. Putting the orders out. And sending contracts. And sending location. Send location. On, on, on that Habib thing. Quick thing. Send location. Not even send location. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, as I was saying at the start of the video, your boy Shiante Wilder has called out Dillian White. Now this particular article is somewhat old, but obviously your boy the YB weren't here, so we're gonna backtrack a week or so. This is what the this is what Deontay Shiante Beyonce Wilder is quoted as saying. Oh man, no. <laughs> I can't do the voice. Know that whoever I come back in the ring against, I'm going to come with a purpose. I've been training since September. Things haven't stopped for me. We've been going and going. I've been twerking and twerking. I might take off a week or so and then we get back at it. Training hasn't stopped for me. You can see me back in the ring. Sometime the first week of January to the latest early February. Well, it's nearly start of January now. I'm sorry, yeah, just quickly before we get to the Dillian White part. What is his team doing? His team is the lackiest, don't they? They man to stay lacking. Wow. They're not on their job, are they? Do, do you do your job? You don't do your job. Don't... That's Wilder's team all over. His team stay on the lack. This is unacceptable. You're meant to be running. No wonder what, what... Look at Wilder's brand. He don't have a brand. No wonder he ain't got no brand equity. Because his team just ain't on their job. Are they? They're sloppy, man. Next thing you hear that the Wilder fight... Uh, um, Eddie Hearn was, was putting them on blast saying... I don't know what Wilder's team were doing. But that... When you've got a contract, I'm not even sure if Wilder's team know how know what contracts are, but when you have a contract, it has clauses in there, i.e. a timeout clause. This contract's valid for six months. If you wanted to fight Fury, why haven't you executed that or done what needed to be done? Now, as I said the other day, I'm not sure how the coronavirus comes... Well, I shouldn't have said that word, but <laughs> I don't know how C19 comes into it. But still, 
It's, it's odd. Either way, you you haven't gone to the courts now, so your team's just hella sloppy, ain't they? Hella sloppy looking team, ain't they? What's wrong with people, man? About uh, we want to be out in January, in February, in, it's now January 1st, more or less, and you've got nothing in the pipeline. Now, luckily for you, Dillian Nate Robinson White is looking for someone's wig to push back. Let's get it done, shall we? Anyway, let's get to that Dillian White point now. So he's just said about how he's been training since September and how he wants to get in there by February. And he goes on to say, we're looking for opponents now. We're not going to sit around and wait on some coward who has an obligation to fulfill, but ran away from it. So he's obviously E for in fury there. But if he's got an obligation, well, allegedly they are in the courts. I'm not sure about the court situation, but... I. I, I just don't know. I don't know what to comment there. I can't imagine. After what Fury did to Wilder, let's get something straight here. Fury weren't the one making a whole gang of excuses after the fight. So is there a possibility that Fury don't really want to do the rematch because he, he'd rather keep the belt and fight AJ? Eh, possibly, but that's a small possibility in my mind. Probably like 1% chance. Because from Fury's point of view, why, why wouldn't he bet on himself pushing your wig back again for you? I can't, I, I don't know. You know, It's not like Fury's been the one who's been twerking on video. <laughs> Put it this way, yeah. Let's say I had a, had, a, had a squabble with someone. And before me and him had a squabble, he was talking about, Oh, man, fee fire fall farm I smell the blur of an English man. You know what I mean? If I, <laughs> let's say... Before I had a squabble with this particular individual, he was talking all this goofy, mad stuff. All this badman stuff. Yeah? All this medieval Tudor thing. Let's say that's who my opponent was talking. And then I get in there, I push, I air him out, air him all the way out. And then afterwards, he leaves all that, oh, three, five, four, four. Ah, smell the blue of an English mo Let's say he le he leaves that in the past and he start he replaces it for twerking. That tells me that I've I've changed this man's DNA. He's gone from thinking I'm a ninety bugger. He's gone from thinking that and doing all this goofy king talk and Tudor talk and medieval talk and Roman talk into bussing down like the Galdem. And shaking his little booty. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That there is a that's there that there's what we call turning out. When a man goes from being an alpha male or a supposed alpha male to acting like a full blown fotty, yeah? A full blown fotty out here, just bussing down, shaking his booty. That's in is that not the definition of being turned out? Turned all the way out. So from Fury's point of view, how why would after I've turned someone out, why would I not want to go there and tap them cheeks again? It just don't really follow, does it? Logically, logically, I don't. It, 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 it ain't adding up to me, Wilder. No, I don't know. As I said, I'm not a million percent. I wouldn't bet my life on it that Fury wants to fight. But logically, unfortunately, Wilder, that's another L for you, and you've also proven you're a liar as well. Because you lied about the AJ fight. You lied about the Dillian White situation. Anyway, moving on. So, yeah. I look back to stepping in the ring. Blah, 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 blah. And he goes on to... Here's the Dillian White part. You ready? He says... Meanwhile, Wilder has assembled a short yet significant list of stated targets. One name in particular jumped out, given the topic. Deontay Wilder says, in quotes now... Dillian White. Oh, I want Dillian White. I want Dillian White. Cockadoodle-oo. <laughs> Dillian White. I want Dillian White. I want Dillian White. On some, some next rap thing. Look at the lyrics. I want Dillian White. I want Dillian... <laughs> the dude's... Ob what? The dude's obsessed with me. You just said his name four times in a row, boss. <laughs> the dude's obsessed with me. He acts like... We went together. This man's gone wiggy. What's going on? 
Freddie, check this out. He says, Dillian White, I want Dillian White, I want Dillian White, insists Wilder. The dude's obsessed with me. He acts like we went together and had a bad breakup and he can't get over me. Maybe he had some good pump or something. No homo. This guy's, this guy's lost the plot. I think he actually got turned out. What's he talking about? Why is he talking about having a bad breakup with the next man? I think you had a bad breakup. I think you got turned out by Fury. If we want to talk about people having bad breakups, and if you want to talk about who did and who didn't get turned out, you know what I'm saying? This is just too much of. This is just too mad for me, man. I hadn't even read this before. This is the first time I'm reading this. This is just fruity, isn't it? If isn't this the fruitiest thing you've ever heard, check this out again. This is all this is all in quotes by the way. Dillian White, I want Dillian White, I want Dillian White in Sis Wilder. The dude's obsessed with me. He acts like we went together and had a bad breakup and he can't get over me. Maybe he had some good pum or something. What do you mean he had some that but that would be Maybe he had some good pum or something. But that would be your pum, wouldn't it? <laughs> Isn't it? If, if you and him had a bad breakup, what do you mean maybe he had some good pum? That would be yours. I don't know. I, 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 I'm lost with this one. Wilder's all the way lost me on this one. This ain't a good look for him. All I hope is he gets the Fury fight or the Dillian White fight and does himself justice. Because right now, I actually feel bad for the LDBC, you know. I can understand now why they've humbled themselves because their their main general has lost the plot. Real, I'm talking all the way lost the plot. Their main man's talking about having a bad breakup with another fighter who's meant to be his arch enemy. <laughs> nah, it's ain't fun. I shouldn't laugh. Really, it's not nice to see a man like that acting like this. Really, is it? Let's be real now. Let's call a spade a spade. This ain't this ain't a good look for me. And it's not even just one. Given it's not even just one little isolated event, you've got him twerking, and it's not even like he was just twerking. I've got a video coming explaining that as well. But he was smiling as well. He was he was feeling himself. What what's going on here? My man's lost the plot. But anyway, lost the plot or not, Deontay Wilder versus Dillian White. As it happens, fate tends to work out how it works out. Um. Alexander Povetkin, he's lost his head. God knows what he's doing. He's part of the cabal and doing some madness, trying to make, it, trying, trying to push that narrative. So he's, out, he's, out, he's off the radar at the moment. Dillian White's looking for a squabble. Wild is allegedly looking for a squabble. Let's get it on. Now we did hear Dillian White was talking about Lewis, Louis, Dinosaur Tees. I'd rather see the Wilder fight, if the truth be known. And I'm not sure. Do, maybe listen, Wilder tells too many porky pies, but I, in terms of how likely something's to happen. I think out of the whole last two years, put it this way, in the last two years, there's been a 0% chance Wilder wants it. This is the first time I've heard Wilder mention Dillian's name in this kind of way. So maybe um, maybe it is possible. And that would be a, a great fight. So either way, really, we're going to get the Fury fight versus Wilder or the Dillian White fight versus Wilder. Either one. It's make or break for Wilder right now. And to be honest, it's also make and break for Dillian. Because whoever loses that fight ain't who we thought they was. But basically, is it? That's what it comes down to. So, I want to see it. It's about time we start. some of these things start coming to fruition. Because no one's getting any, any younger. Dillian's 33. Dillian Nate Robinson White is 33. Deontay... Shiante, Beyonce, oh my single ladies, oh my, you know, that's how, he, that's how he was twerking, you know, to all my single ladies, no wonder we call him Beyonce, he, he, he's re, he really has got that Shiante vibe about him now, but anyway, on a serious note, let's get it popping, let's stop doing the talking and uh, with your weird goofy analogies about, oh well maybe we had a bad breakup and maybe I had some good pum, what? <laughs> <laughs> leave all that. I know you've lost your head. I know Fury. I know Fury's turned you out. But try and leave that. Try and get some psychological help 
You know what I'm saying? And just get in there and just start doing what you used to do. I preferred Wilder, you know, when he was giving it the other talk. Giving it the cockadoo loo talk and about fee fi fo fum. That's what I preferred, really. I just, I just don't like seeing a brother in this in this way, in this in this particular state. I just don't think it's a good look. It's not nice. I, I just don't like seeing brothers, enemies or not, in this kind of... In, in the rut he's found himself. Yeah, he's obviously woken up on that February 23rd, the day after the fight, and he's found himself turned out. Yeah. Oh, and just before I go, I've also read some more of the quotes from Deontay, Shionte, Beyonce Wilder. And he says, Andy Ruiz would be one on the list also. Absent those options, so absent Dillian White and Andy Ruiz, Wilder dives further down the list. And he says, as far as height, six foot six Robert Hellenius could come back in for me to get the height situation. You got former heavyweight title titleist Joseph Parker. You've got former heavyweight former cruiserweight champion Yusuf Luslik, Alexander Usyk. You know I would love to fight. Oh man, you know I'd love to fight him. He called me out at one point in time. So listen. I was about to half rate Wilder, you know, for sticking it on Dillian and for actually calling out Nate Robin Mr. Renate Robinson White. But when you throw Robert Hellenius in there, that just kills the vibe for me. You were just about to get a few ticks of sympathy from the YB after you got your back blown out and after you got turned out by Fury, but Hellenius, the minute, this is the problem for me, yeah? The minute, the minute I hear someone say, I want to fight in January, I want to fight in February, don't tell me that, and then we hear nothing, and then I hear you mentioning Robert, Robert Hellenius, because you know what that tells me? When someone picks a date, yeah, and we don't hear nothing and it's a week out, that tells me that you probably are going to fight him at the start of February, but guess what? It's going to be a bum fighter, and that's going to be your excuse. Oh, well, we didn't have no time, and it was late notice. No, it wasn't late notice because it was late notice. It's late notice because you've sat on this for two months and done nothing with it. Your team is useless, Wilder. That's what they are. And I can just... Robert... Don't talk about Dillian White and Andy Ruiz and then drop Hellenius in there. Oh, well, I need to prepare for Fury, so I'll bring stiff, good-for-nothing Robert Hellenius in there. He's no good. Dillian White's already chewed on him. He don't, he don't turn up to fight. He gives it the all... He gives it the Viking talk. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a Nordic warrior. You're not a Nordic warrior. You just turn up to get your back blown out. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? About, I never got that. Oh, I'm a Nordic warrior. It's like... AJ talking about being a Zulu warrior and just being moist. No, that just don't work. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna rep your, if you're gonna rep your history, at least you have to rep, you have to turn up. Don't be giving it the old Nordic Viking thing, and then you're in there just standing there like a stiff tool. But anyway, as I said earlier, I don't want to see Hellenius. Parker wouldn't be a bad fight, but he don't really turn up either, does he? I want to see, as I said the other day. Wilder versus Ruiz, that's a cracking fight. Wilder versus Dillian, that's a cracking fight. Um, Wilder versus Useless, Useless-ick, I'll watch that as well. I still think Useless-ick will box his head off too quick. Too quick and Wilder can't box, so it's one of them ones. But anyway, let me know your thoughts.